They were asked. They promised. From the creators of what is the Dolly Zoom for and how to upload videos to YouTube. Now comes the episode on What is slow motion? What does FPS mean and how does it relate to slow mo? Today I'm gonna answer all these questions. Hello there, I'm Roman. Welcome back to the Movavi Vlog, your go-to channel for creating cool videos. I bet you've seen footage like this in movies, commercials, vlogs and many other videos multiple times. But how can you do it yourself? First of all, we have to understand what the abbreviation FPS stands for. Frames per second. It's the number of frames in each second of a video. For example, 24 FPS means that every second of the video consists of 24 consecutive images. During the playback, frames are displayed one by one very quickly to create a smooth image. And now we have to figure out what speed creates a normal appearance. In the movie industry, 24 FPS is considered to be a standard that has evolved over time. In television, the standard FPS depends on the region. PAL, the European standard, uses 25 FPS and TSC, the American standard, uses 30 FPS. If the number of frames is lower, the picture flow will be jerky and look like a slideshow. If the number is higher, you can slow your video down to achieve the desirable slow motion effect. It's important to select an appropriate frame rate on the stage of filming. If you shoot your video at 30 FPS and then try to export it as 60 FPS video, you won't be able to create a beautiful slow-mo. Cause in fact, there won't be more new frames and video editing program will just copy existing ones. Let's take a closer look on what we can use different frame frequencies for. Ok, a speed of 0 to 15 FPS is typically used to fast-forward video up during playback. For example, these flowers were shot at a speed of 1 frame every 3 or 4 minutes and then the video was speeded up to 30 fps. This method is called time-lapse. I think it looks amazing. Another approach is hyperlapse. It's almost the same thing, but with the camera moving. 24, 25 and 30 fps, as I said, are standards for TV and cinema. But you can dial 30 FPS video down to 80% if you save it as 24 FPS video. This way you'll get a slight slow motion effect without the video looking like a slideshow. If we try to speed it down further to 50% for example, the image will start to look jerky. A speed of 15 FPS is not fast enough to make the image flow smoothly. Any video filmed at a speed higher than 30 FPS can be slowed down to some extent. Today's amateur digital and smartphone cameras can shoot videos at 60, 120 and even 240 FPS. Even our Canon 60D can shoot videos at 60 FPS, but only in HD quality, not Full HD. Here is an original video. And here's the same video, but two times slower. The GoPro Hero 6 can shoot full HD videos with a frame frequency of up to 240 FPS. Footage like this can be slowed down by 8 times. Just look how impressive this video is. Frequencies higher than 1000 FPS are normally used by scientists for studying transient processes like electrical discharges, hits, explosions, deformations, and so on. Or by YouTubers for getting millions of views. I'm wondering why people love this effect so much. Why? Slow motion makes everything better. Well, it does and doesn't at the same time. We humans can slow down time, but by applying a slow motion effect to the footage, we can slow the action down and see things we couldn't see before. But you must be careful with slow motion, otherwise your video risks turning into a soap opera.
let's think about artistic reasons for using these effects. In movies, slow motion lets you highlight details that won't normally be seen in the real world. This is Sparta! This approach is also used for suspense scenes to raise the level of anxiety and uncertainty about what might happen. On the other hand, when the outcome of a scene is obvious, slow motion will heighten the drama. Another useful way to apply the slow-mo effect is video stabilization. Imagine you have a beautiful shot, but you were so excited while filming that the camera was shaking throughout the shooting. Now let's slow the video down. And finally, we have some decent footage without the camera shake. If you are planning to shoot a slow motion video, consider you probably won't be able to use the audio track, cause you'll sound like Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Roman, I've been watching this episode for a few minutes and still have no idea what FPS I should shoot with. Well, it all depends on your goals. If you just want to shoot a video without bothering about creating a slow motion effect, simply choose 25 or 30 FPS depending on your location. But if you're ready to create a fantastic slow-mo sequence, remember, the higher the shooting frequency, the slower you can make the result. Using the video editor built into Movavi Video Suite, you can easily slow down the video. Let's see how much our video can be slowed. Choose the clip you want to use, click on it with the right mouse button, then click on File Information. Look, we have an entire 200 FPS to play with. It means we can slow the video down 8 times with no problem. But we don't need to slow it down that much. Let's open Clip Properties. Drag the speed slider to 20%, which is equal to slowing down 5 times. In the preview window, the video is moving in a weird way, but don't worry. That's how fast HD technology works. The program uses copies of the original files with a lower resolution and frame frequency to boost its productivity and speed up the video editing process. But for exporting, the program uses the originals. To manage this function, open the Settings menu, click on Preferences and then on Acceleration. Here you can disable this function to more accurately view in the preview. Click on Start after selecting the appropriate frame rate in the Advanced Settings. That's what the original video looks like. And here is the slowed down one. Let's review the key points one more time. Don't try to set a higher frame rate than the original clip uses. During slowdowns, make sure the final frame playback rate is no lower than 24 FPS. In most cases, choose standard parameters like 24, 25 or 30 FPS when you export your video. 50 or 60 FPS are the best options when you want to create a hyper-realistic sequence. That's all for now. As always, I'll be happy to see your thumbs up and comments in the section below. Assuming that you liked this video, of course. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out our video on how to create a time-lapse effect. And please leave links to your slow-motion videos in the comments. See you soon. Bye-bye.